and welcome to salesforce guru channel uh, today we are going to discuss about workflow versus process builder versus flow this is a very important concept because in every interview you can expect a question on what is the difference between workflow and process builder and versus flow so today our agenda is we are going to discuss what is the process type process automation types are available in the salesforce those are workflow process builder and flow and a difference between workflow process builder and flow these are going to discuss today so what is a process automation uh, we can able to achieve process automation in admin part without writing a code or with a limited code by using below three those are workflow process builder and flow in every winter question as i told earlier you can expect one question uh, without this question i don't expect any interview most of the times i face this question that's why I feel uh, it will be helpful for many people. So we have three in process automation. Those are workflow. One is uh, process builder and other one is a flow. So with workflow, we are able to achieve only four things. That is, you can able to send the email. You can able to create the task. You can able to do field updates. You can able to do outbound messages. If you want to do any of these things, you can go for the workflow. If you want to perform addition, additional to uh, above these four, you have to go for a process builder. So process builder can capable of doing whatever the workflow will do. These four along with you can able to do, you can able to create the records, you can able to launch flows, you can able to post to chatter and you can able to invoke the Apex code. This is very important one. Sometimes you, you are going to uh, write Apex code and you are able to invoke from the process builder and you can submit for the approval so this is the additional things you can able to perform by using the process builder and after uh, this process builder now salesforce introduced the flows so if you are uh, if you are uh, going to do uh, something like uh, using the process builder in nowadays so it's better to go for the flow because the salesforce is going to deprecate uh, process builder very soon so they are recommending to use the flow so flow will do whatever the things process builder able to do this all the things apart from this it can able to do additional things like record uh, crude operations like create the record reading the record update the record delete the record and you can able to do launching the flows and you are able to iterate the records once you fetch the records records you can able to iterate over it so these these are the things lightning flow can able to do so maybe you when you they ask the question you are able to answer flow uh, workflow only can able to do these four things that is sending email create task field update outbound messages the process builder able to achieve this uh, can able to do these four and additional to this one you are able to do create records, launching the flows, post to chatter, invoke apex, submit approval. So what is the difference between process builder and uh, lightning flow? Lightning flow is very similar to process builder and it, it has some additional capa capabilities. So and uh, as per the Salesforce recommendation, if you want to do something with using the process builder, it's better to go for the flow. So, so thank you guys. Thank you for uh, listening.